This is my Hover Air X1 review. We all love action cameras to capture moments because they are rugged, produce great videos, and they are very easy to use. However, as a solo creator, we often are forced to use either a tripod or a selfie stick to get the right angle. And that often produces issues uh, with audio, making the need for an external microphone. It's pretty close, so if I decide to go this way... But what if your camera could fly, produce great video, and be positioned anywhere you desire? With the Hover Air X1, this becomes a reality. It's like having a flying selfie camera with its own AI-assisted camera crew, making it very easy for anyone without any prior experience. No need for complex controls. Launch it with a single button press from the palm of your hand, and off it goes executing the selected flight modes without further interaction. What it's doing now is that it Does this it. sound too good to be true? I'm generally impressed with this uh, smartphone sized 125 gram drone that easily fits into my pocket. The Hover Air X1 is crafted by Zero Zero Robotics and I got two of them and I don't need both. So I'll be giving one of them away to one lucky subscriber you will get the white version with the two extra batteries and a charger. Instructions will follow later in this video. Before we take a closer look, I want to show you something that is truly mind-blowing. And uh, this is a pretty ideal mode if I want to go and uh, talk to the camera. If I switch to the GoPro, you can hear that the prop noise is actually quite disturbing or disturbing uh, sort of the image. And I think it actually sounds pretty okay under these conditions. It can record audio onto your drone footage and remove the propeller noise automatically. How cool is that? There's really a huge potential here if it's combined with the dolly mode. This is not 100% perfect as the audio is often a little bit out of sync when you speak to the camera and this can be super annoying. Quite ideal if I'm gonna go and talk to the drone like this. So it'd be nice if they fix that part. This is an action camera that can fly and you don't need a remote to operate it. I would go as far as saying this is the perfect camera for solo creators. A reality that I face most of the time. So this is at least a big upside for me. Camera specs. The camera has a 35mm equivalent focal length and a fixed aperture of 2.4 with a 90 degree field of view. It uses a single axis gimbal in combination with electronic stabilization to steady the footage. You have three recording modes. 2.7K 30fps, 1080p 30fps in HDR, 1080p 60fps for some subtle slow motion action. You can shoot photos in 12 megapixels in 4.3 in either single or burst mode. Hover Air X1 comes with 32GB of internal storage. It's not possible to add an SD card to the drone, but this will be plenty of space for most use. You can create amazing videos with regular drones from Autel and DJI, but they are more expensive take up more space and they take longer to get airborne. This is much easier, more accessible and offers sufficient quality for most social media platforms. But let me know what you think. It brings the fun back flying drones again. No doubt about that. And uh, I'm constantly thinking about new ways that I can utilize this little new device. <laughs> operational features. When I first heard about this uh, palm takeoff and landing, I was skeptical, but it works really well. Just press the power button and off you go. It's a unique feature that many will appreciate. And uh, if I'm gonna land the drone, how would I do that if it tracks in front of me? That's quite simple. I just put out my hand like this and it comes back and lands. How awesome is that? <laughs> This is by far the most user-friendly product that I've ever used. I'm confident that even someone without any prior drone experience will be able to operate the Hover Air X1. And to prove it, I tested it out on my 86-year-old father, which could fly the Hover Air X1. Zoom out. Are you Så når han er tilbage, så far hånden lige under den. Det var meget simpelt, ikke? Jo. 
Weighing just 125 grams with the battery, the drone is well protected with the props of the four brushless motors shielded behind a plastic cage, making it 100% safe flying around people. Even when it loses track of me and trying to kill me, there's no risk. An audio prompt tells you what flight mode the drone is in and what it's actually doing, which is super convenient. However, it's a bit loud. Zoom out. So be prepared to grab some attention. You're likely to get noticed anyway because the drone is far from silent. It has a noticeable hiss sound. The foldable design fits easily in your pocket and even better in your bag, making it perfect to bring along on your next outing. Flight modes. You can select between five different flight modes. You simply select the flight mode by short pressing the mode button. Follow. Holding down this button cycles through the modes. These are the six predefined modes. Hover. Frames the user from a static position and follows your movement. Zoom out. Backs off revealing more of your surroundings, keeping you in the frame. It works even with the person next to you, which is great. Follow. Follow you from the front or back with up to 20 kilometers an hour centered in the frame. Orbit. Flies in a fixed radius around you, ideal for showcasing an object. Bird eye. Rises and films a top-down overview of the scene. Custom snapshot. Which default is configured to take a snapshot. One fun curiosity is that uh, when you replay the footage from the snapshot, it actually adds music onto it. So you get a small video as well as an image. A long press allows you to change the basic settings for flight mode and it speaks the new settings back to you. 1.5 meters. Zoom out. For instance, if I want to change the orbit radius from 1.5 meters to 3 meters. 3 meters. Zoom out. The Hover app. You basically only need the app for the first time to activate the product. After that, in theory, you can put it away. You need the app if you want to modify one of the flight modes beyond what's possible to do on the unit itself. Enable recording audio onto your footage or simply preview or download the footage and image recorded. The app is uh, compatible with the uh, iOS 11 and Android 9 or higher. While primarily a selfie drone, you can fly the drone around using your smartphone to get a specific angle. You can fly the drone manually from the preview screen using the on-screen buttons up to 10 meters in height and 30 meters away. Note this can only be enabled after you have completed your first five flights. So this is the manual control. This will allow me to adjust the drone. There's all these dials that you would expect for left, right, backward, forward, up, down, uh, left, right. So if I launch the drone now. And a little bit depending on uh, what you're doing. Let's just fly it backwards here. You can also start the video. Let's fly it backwards here. So a little bit uh, depending on how you're flying with the drone, if you're filming yourself or if you're filming someone else, you should basically decide for the direction that uh, you want the drone to face. Otherwise, uh, the controls will be reversed and that will cause all sorts of problems. So you can see here, I can just fly it like this. So I can fly it backwards. So and forward, yeah. If I lower it a little bit, I can do like a manual dolly. Manual, I yeah, pull back, zoom, zoom out. So if I do backward, up, see now it's doing that. I can tilt the gimbal if I want that. So I can fly, uh, I can do it in reverse now. So forward, down. Like this. I can also decide if I want to fly really close to the ground. Maybe I can do like a point of interest. So if I do this very slowly. See, I can do something like this. I need to be careful that I don't crash in anything. This requires a little bit of practice to be able to do that in a smooth manner. <laughs> flight time. A single battery offers 9 to 11 minutes of flight time when hovering or tracking. In reality, it feels a lot longer as you're only filming shorter sequences with usable content. The drone automatically starts and stops the camera and takes photos automatically. 
you can see the current status on the front LED. The Hover Air X1 can take up to 20 shots on a single charge. And it comes with two batteries, a dual charger, which should be sufficient for most use cases. It takes 35 minutes to charge a single battery using an 18 watt charger, but up to 55 minutes with the onboard charging in the drone itself. Changing the batteries requires some force, which actually surprised me. But on the other hand, it ensures that they stay there. Limitations, stabilization and position rely on vision, not GPS. So you can't fly it in the dark, over water, or in areas with rapid terrain changes. The drone vision sensor system requires ground texture to work. So the maximum height is limited to 10 meters. The video transmission range is less than 30 meters. So I guess a range test would be pretty easy to do with this one. Avoid flying in the rain and heavy wind as the Hover Air X1 is not waterproof and it might struggle with wind resistance. It's not meant to be flown in high winds, but it can handle up to 7.9 meters per second. And of course, I ignored that as the weather forecast was even worse. And I must say that it actually handled the wind pretty well, even though it was struggling under some cases. Hover Air X1 does not have a dedicated obstacle avoidance system, but I have found that it's really difficult to crash. Let's actually see how uh, yeah, rugged this drone is, what it can do in terms of tracking. Just go here, see if I can. Did that lost me? That found me again? Remember, it has no obstacle avoidance. So uh, you need to be not an idiot when you do this. But it's actually keeping up pretty well. See if there's any branches here. There are branches. Oh. <laughs> Let's just try and go around the bushes here one more time before I lose my pants. If it rams into something, the propellers are actually protected and the drone will automatically go into auto land once an obstacle has been detected. You just, whoa. Drone attack. <laughs> you can get access to all these goodies for around $400 for the drone, two batteries and the dual charger. However, one of you will have a chance to win one for free. You would have to act promptly as the giveaway will only run for 72 hours after the release of this video. To be able to win, you need to do the following. Like the video, be a subscriber of the channel, and then go to the comment section and uh, tell me why you should be the one winning the Hover Air X1. Put some effort into it because I will be selecting the winner based on the comment that I like the most. All comments added after 72 hours will be ignored. On the last giveaway, I had a ton of issues uh, with uh, you guys being emailed by all the scammers that are like flies on a turd when we are doing something like this. If if someone is writing you directly through the email that you have listed in your about section, ignore it from now because I will not be using that approach. And this time I will do it a little bit different and I think it's actually pretty genius. I will take the answer of the winner and then I will simply write below that as a reply that you have won. Then you can write me an email claiming your price. I will send you a unique message that you need to go into this original comment, edit it to verify that you are the right person. It's only you that have access to your account. And in this way, I can make absolutely 100% sure that it's the winner that will get the price. How about that? And screw you scammers. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers! <Nope. laughs> as I would expect, tons of comments are being added to the video as part of this giveaway. I would also, as a service, write whoever won in uh, the description of uh, the video. And I will pick the winner less than 24 hours after the 72 hour limit has been passed. And if all of this didn't make sense at all, I'll make sure to pin it as at least as a written uh, instruction as uh, the top comment of this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the comments.